How do you find the last node of a linked list using recursion? When you want to solve a problem with recursion, you tend to think about what is the simplest form I can imagine this problem being posed in. And in this case, let's um, imagine we're being asked, what is the last node of a list whose head node is referring to this node here, right? So what is the result of calling a last function when the head node of this list is referring to this node here? Well, by definition, uh, the last node of a linked list is the one whose next property is null. So in this case, the head reference that we have to this node here is indeed also the last node in the list. So in this case, we would just say uh, the last of head, when head refers to this particular node here, would simply be head, right? So this is our base case. And our base case is the one where we're going to stop recurring. This is sort of the simplest form we can imagine this function being called on. Let's think about a slightly more complex case. What happens when we've got an additional node in our list, like say node B here? Well, in this case, let's imagine that we're actually calling uh, last and our head node does not refer to C, it instead refers to B. So let's imagine that we're calling a last function and we're giving it a head of node B here. Well, is this the last node? Is this the same as our base case? No, it's not because we have a next property that points to another node, right? That refers to another node. So this isn't the last node of the list. The way we might think about this recursively is rather than going and figuring out within this function on our own, what is the last node of this list? Why don't we ask, what is the last node of a list that's a little bit smaller, right? So if we think about this now is uh, we have two lists here. The complete list starts at B and a sublist of that original list starts at C. We can say, what is the last node of the rest of this list, right? So the rest of this list we can get by referring to the next node, starting from head. And what I wanna sort of impress upon you is that when we say last of next dot head, when head refers to this particular node here, and next refers to this node here, it's the same as saying, what is the last node if head were the sublist, right? So what we've done is we've broken down our problem a little bit. And the nice thing is we've actually got a, an, an answer to that solution here. When we say, what is the last of head when head is this particular node here, it's head. And so the answer would then be head again. And this is our recursive case. This recursive case works even if our list is a little bit longer, right? So let's imagine a list that starts with a node A and A links to B. So what happens when we call, what is the last node of some head node of a list when head actually refers to this particular node? Well, we don't know, that what we do know is that this is not the last node of the list because its next property is another node. So again, we can reformulate this problem and ask, well, if, if this isn't the last node, why don't we just ask the next node or why don't we just ask the rest of this list, hey, what is the last node of you? And so we're gonna say, hey, rest of the list, what is the last node? And, and the way that we do that is we say, hey, what is the last node of the rest of the list was saying, hey, what is head.next uh, uh, this last node? Well, in this case, if head had previously referred to this node, its next would refer to uh, the node B, right? And so here we've already seen and solved this problem before. We know that asking last of head.next when head is this node A is the same as saying, what is the last of head if head were actually this? node here. And so it's in turn going to say, all right, well, this isn't the last node. Let's ask the rest of the list that comes after me, what is the last node? And once we've reached the last node, when head.next is actually going to be the tail node, uh, we have our solution. And so head would wind up being returned back to uh, the call of last.next and once again back to the call of last head.next originally, and then finally to wherever we called this function from. 
And so this is how you would think about solving this problem using recursion. Our recursive cases are when the next property of a node is not null, and our base case is when the next property is null.